Good morning, Nat. All right. How are ya? <sighs> so I had a mild ride in. <coughs> I forgot my um uh, my one of my message card decks. But I do I'm gonna look in my per my pocketbook or my bag. I'm sure I have something. I usually keep a deck here, but I used it recently at the sisters event. Sis sisters and healing event. Let's see, we're gonna turn on some a little bit of music. Drink a little water. How are you doing today? Ooh, I need my eyebrows done, like really bad. Like, it's time to get the, you know I got the tattoos, right? <laughs> Look. Ooh, is it micro? Micro blading or micro shading? I'm telling you, I don't know which one I got, but I got, it's been about three years and it's lasted really, really long. This one is doing good. This one, uh, anyway, it's time for a touch up. But, my person that did it, she did a great job. She has left the city. So I need to find someone. I know I have two people in mind. And I actually I have one person in mind and two referrals. I have three that I can choose. I just need to take time to schedule it. I still need to decorate. I got a lot of open space. I was supposed to um, start a training, but we rescheduled, hopefully, this afternoon. So that actually gives me time to do other things. I have a, um, a healing session for myself scheduled for 11.30. So when I'm done with that, and, then, and that'll be an hour, I still have another hour or so. So I can occupy this time until I reconnect with who I was supposed to connect with this morning with other things on my life list. You know how, you know, you have plans, just like in life, day-to-day, -day, life plans, whatever, and something like that, and that the plans change. How, how easy is it for you to shift, right? In any situation, how easy is it for you to shift, right? And and just shift and say, okay, I see it as this. If my plans change, then it's an abundance of time for me to be able to do something else. It, it started to rain. I mean, I started off with sunshine this morning, and now it's like a, a misty rain. I feel a little cool in here, too. Let me put my sweater on. Yeah, just hang out with me for a few minutes. So I did find something in my book. In my let me see all my rolls. I love all my rolls and my folds, baby. <laughs> I didn't bring my chai powder in. So, I'm going to read something for y'all. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ooh. I'm looking in this book. This is a very old book. I am an angelologist. I study the awareness and of the angelic realm. I believe a thousand percent that uh, we have angels that support us in our lives, assigned to us from the beginning of time. 
I always say that, uh, and I am an ordained minister, if y'all didn't know, uh, not a preaching and traditional minister, but my ministry is uh, healing through sound, music. I haven't played my angel harps in a good while. Um, through writing, through creativity, uh, through facilitating, co-facilitating, did a lot of co-facilitation prior to COVID. Uh, but one of my major studies is of the angelic realm. Many years ago, uh, basically, I paid attention to the signs that showed up for me that the angels, that uh, the angelic realm was reaching out to me, making me aware of their presence. Let me see. And during my years as a massage therapist, healer, in the earlier years, there was a young lady, her name is Amy. But I received, uh, I guess, winks from the angelic realm uh, in, in signs of different types. But she had come across, she had some books in her library. She said, Miss Wanda, I think this book, she gave me two, belongs to you. And it's called Angels, The Lifting of the Veil, and uh, How to Open the Door to the Angelic Realm. And it's a story, or it was written by these two people who came together in collaboration because they both felt a strong calling that to uh, write a book and get information out there as they were receiving channelings and directions from their guardian angels. So... I'm sorry, I didn't get my um, my um, tripod. So, what was I? It was something in here I was going to share with y'all. Um, I happened to just flip it open, so I was going to share what what came open. has to do with understanding what your how to to step forward in your gifts. Where did I see it? Oh, un uncover your hidden talents. There is within each of you an expression of life, and this expression is an attribute of the Most High Source. The greatest gift you can contribute to the earth, the human family, and all of life is to claim your talents and give them expression through you. For can you see if you choose not to express God cannot experience so a des a expressing your life design a design is a pattern used as a blueprint for creation according to you according to how you design your life you create your destiny. Life lived without design is life lived without meaning and purpose. In many of the ancient Greek and Egyptian cultures, when a child was born, parents consulted astrologers and seers to understand the child's predetermined life design. From another go over to part two now. <laughs>